Look at that, it's got a massive chunking rip out of it there. Look at that. That one's actually gone through. Wow, got all the dust inside there. But it's so persistent, it won't go away until I answer the door away. What likes is there a leaking radiator somewhere? If it's yellow, let it melt. You've got your toilet roll, you've got to put your hand down there to get your toilet roll out. Just take a look how dirty these windows are here. Look at all the cobwebs. So tonight I'm staying in the Norbreck Castle in Blackpool and this place is absolutely massive. So I booked in for one night in a single room, the least room I can get for the money. I'm quite intrigued to see exactly what this place is like after all the bad press that I've seen on the internet about it. Nearly 60% of the returning viewers to this channel are not yet subscribed. So if you keep coming back to this is something you're interested in, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. And at the moment, it's 92% subscribers are ladies to the channel. I'm sure it's the marigolds and cleaning part of it all. But yeah, if you're somebody who keeps coming backwards and forwards, please do consider hitting that subscribe button if you like videos like this as well. And if you press the bell, you'll be told every time I upload a new video, almost straight away. But yeah, I'm pretty shocked to see that. 92% late of the, the subscribers are ladies. It just must be my good looks, I think. <laughs> right, let's get into entrance, get booked in, and then we'll have a look around, I think. So I'm on the third floor, room 806. And I saw this on the internet, on YouTube. I didn't believe too much of it, so I'll show you around exactly what I mean. See how old the carpets are? It's actually wearing away. That one's actually gone through. Carpet's not exactly the cleanest either. That was like there's bits of the water coming away. How dirty it is there. So I didn't need to go up them stairs, I need to come this way. And I believe straight in front of us is my room. So I'm on the first floor. I wasn't even locked. Oh, it says there, doesn't it, if you can focus. 806. Eight or six. Wow. And I'll show you my view in a minute from outside. <laughs> so far, this is what we're seeing. So, with the door being open, I thought, let's get the card out and we'll uh, have a look to see if it is definitely my room before I start getting myself comfortable. And uh, give you a card key in an envelope. Why didn't we just say, there's your key, there's your number, you're away. It's, I just think it's a bit of a waste of an envelope. Really? And I get two keys, card keys, let's say. Let's try this door. I do hope this works now. Yep, so it's definitely my room. Now, I have seen a few things about the place where I start thinking to myself, wow, did I not notice this? Did I not notice that? And the first thing is the state of the bed. Look at that, it's got a massive chunking rip out of it there. Look at that. 
That's the bed base, and then here, you can see how all this is just dangling down. I don't think that's meant to be like that for a reason. You see what I mean, guy? So you do get some wall art. I, I don't see point of that one, to be fair. That's a village, like the hills, you know, that should be in the Lake District, Peak District somewhere. That's not a very seasidey looking picture. But as you go over to this one with the lighthouse, that's seasidey, isn't it? So, yeah. If you like it at the seaside, you turn around, you're somewhere in the mountains or even where you want to be. A bit strange picture. On the side of your bed, you get a telephone. I think it's just an ornament. It's not even working. But you can see there, see the colour on that? See where people's been putting it to the ears? Probably makeup on it, maybe, or something. Yeah, definitely makeup. Wow. You can see here where they've been painting the wall. <laughs> and it's like, rather, it's peeled off previously, or they've only done one coat on it. I don't know where you can see that. But yeah, it's like uh, here's got one coat. There, there, there's got two coats. There's rubbish and dust on the window. So there. Wow, look at all the dust inside there. They can take these off. There's no reason why they can't clean inside it. Give it a bit of an oover. Yeah, that is dusty. See how much effort it takes. Got some uh, bedside tables and this bed is lethal there. Wow, that's crazy that. No bedside table there, but it ma matches the headboard, and so does the the wardrobe here. As people call it, unstealable hangers. You can take that off if you want, and just. Take that home, put a nook on it. Seven of them. Nice old lamp, man, isn't it? Definitely works. TV remote. Uh, please help us to help the environment, so I'll turn all the electric off when not needed, basically. I like to see that. I'm a non-smoker. I always ask for non-smoking rooms. Spoon's a bit dirty. Milk, coffee, a few tea bags, some sugar, a kettle. That ain't even placed on right. Or is it not the right kettle for the stand? Okay, it looks like it's not even meant to belong to that one. Yeah, it's fairly clean. I don't really drink the coffee, uh, tea and coffees anywhere. But this looks like, the mirror looks like one what you get on a dressing table. And they've removed that and just thought, oh, stick it, stick it on the wall. See it there? <laughs> it's not exactly the cleanest either. Not at all. Got a lot of dust on it. Not bad there. What is there? It didn't come off, but yeah, it's got dust on it. But it's not a bad mirror, is it really? You do get a chair. We had to put my bag on it. And your TV. These curtains just remind me of my grandma's house. Windowsills chipping away. I'm not too bothered. Look at the outside view I've got. You get a bit of a sea view. Can we see? No. Can't see anywhere, can we? Then we've got some of the castle shaped roof. This is a little bit. Uh, I don't know, what would you say? 
Stupid. There's your on and off switch, main switch. Whoosh. Got all dust on that. Shouldn't that be somewhere else? Not in the main room. So, that's everything. You do have some drawers here as well. There's not in drawers there empty. This is your bathroom. Now, I'm eager to get in the bath and test the bath because the bath look like it could be a little bit too narrow for someone of my build as well. But when you walk in, you definitely get in a, a mouldy, damp smell. I'm not sleeping in here. Oh, well, that's a bit off-putting. I've heard of the saying, if it's yellow, let it mellow, but yeah, it's uh, it's got someone's wee in it. That's a bit strange. Hmm. You've got your toilet roll, you've got to put your hand down there to get your toilet roll out. I'll tell you what, there's a cold draft coming from in there. my hands once I've touched all that. So you do get some tart roll here, here, one inside there. <laughs> some plastic cups wrapped in bag. Well that tap looks alright, doesn't it? It's quite funky. I'll leave that running for a second. I only learn by doing these hotel videos but this works to plug. Some Britannia soap, so it is a Britannia hotel, I reckon, by the sound of that one. Just for you. Somebody else can have that. Yeah, it was not getting very hot. Oh, now it's coming through. Yep. Another mirror. That is quite dirty. It's got a lot of dirt on the mirror. Now this is some Here's your towels. Look how dirty it is there. Seeing that. Another door here. That'll be to sort out the plumbing, you know, under the bath, because your taps are there. <laughs> so you get your bath mat, and you also get your plug hanging over, because the plug must be in the centre. Yeah, I knew it would be there. So it just hangs over. I know when we've got baths at home, if our taps there, that's where your plug hole will be. And I must say as well, the shower curtain does have some marks on it as well. But I'm not bothered about that. I've been in the shower literally five, ten minutes. But it does have stains everywhere. The shower and the bath don't look too bad. Get some hair and body wash. Right, let's see how the hot water goes. Wow. It throws out that water, that does, doesn't it? Hot water straight away. We can't really complain about that, people. But look at the size of the bath. It's not very wide. That might be very interesting later when I get in the shower to have a look at that. The bottom of the door is well damaged. You can just see it there. It looked like they've hacked it away to fit over this bit of wood here. Yeah, like it's been hacked away like a screwdriver. Get a bin. A bin. We get a bin, people. Right, so I'm going to have a look at the bed. Because the bed is the most important thing, isn't it? If the bed's clean, I think we're happy and we can deal with any other bits within the room. I will say though, the bed feels very hard. 
I don't like it when I push on the bed here, but the the uh, legs on the little wheels are moving. Don't like that at all. So the bed looks to be nice and clean. These pullers, wow. These pullers are going to be nice and soft. There's no puller protection on them. They do look very clean. Same with this one. There's absolutely no airs on the bed. Is a mattress protector? Well, there's a cover for the mattress, if that means anything. And there we have it, people. There's always an air to get involved with it all. I think you see it better on here. Yeah, there's always an air, always one. And this don't look like the cleanest thing either. But that's definitely coffee stains. Another one there. Yeah, it's definitely a coffee stain, that. What's the mattress like? It's brown, it's dark, it's got all this bubble. Look at the bed. I've only lifted the mattress up, oh, and uh, it's separating. But I'm not sure what that smell is. It's a very odd smell. So I'll quickly come back and show you in the drawers. We do have an air dryer. And then there's no else really. So I know somebody had asked how come I didn't show in the draw. A bit of a stain is going on here. Just take a look how dirty these windows are here. Got all the cobwebs. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on there, isn't there? Someone's left some milk. Look like there's a uh, leaking radiator somewhere. <laughs> Just put a tin under it, that'll solve it. Let's have a little walk around. This carpet looks better than the previous one, what we walked up. It's just corridor after corridor, isn't it? Let's have a look. May as well, do not we? Some nice artwork. I think that's just the end. mask and tape the carpet up if there's a bit of an hole in it. This place just goes on and on and on. More mask and tape on carpet over there. So you can pay to use the swimming pool for a couple of quid extra. But I chose not to do that. And plus, if you want to leave your car here for the night, it's £3 for the night. Or you can leave it on the opposite side of the road for nothing. Wow. Doesn't this look nice? In here. This looks beautiful in here. Looks like some sort of bar area. But this looks really nice. Let's look at all that there. Like an amusement area in there. Where you can grab yourself a teddy for a few quid. Snooker table over there. Wow, this place is fantastic. Some sort of music going on down here. Look at that. Bingo night, entertainment night. Live 
entertainment. There's something going on down here. Sounds like there's a cinema. Something's going on in there. Wonder what that means. Just a dark room, a load of chairs. Look at these fake bookcases. You can see the difference in the hotel from when we walked in to the stairs to that real nice uh, wall artwork and then you come in here and it just goes back to plain. But even that chandelier, there's only a few bulbs working. Maybe about three or four bulbs not there. See how it looks like it's a completely different area as well. Push bar to open. I don't think we'll uh, we'll leave that way because that could be a fire exit. We don't want to set the alarm off, do we? So I'm back in my room now. I had dinner within the hotel in that little restaurant area. I couldn't record it. There was too many people. There's like an, uh, a show thing going on. So it was really busy. I tried to record some parts in the reception, but I'm like that and I moved my phone you know, or cameras so people couldn't see. And I just thought there were no point. There's plenty of videos on YouTube showing you down, you know, that sort of area. I managed to get a bit round the hotel, but not too far. Anyway, I want to do the part what a lot of us like to see, and that is the UV light. Now, I've looked around. Oh, for dinner, I had steak and chips with peas and a nice uh, fizzy Fanta. Fizzy Fanta, Fanta, as in a, a nice drink. I don't drink alcohol, so I have to get a soft drink like that. So, it's time to look at the UV light. I've looked around a little bit already with it before I came at camera, so I've got some things that I do want to show you. And one of them is the radiator. It's very noisy in here. These walls, like cardboard, I think. Anyway, the radiator is standard, stains all over the radiator. So it seems to be in these sort of places, it's the same sort of spots around the rooms where you do see a lot of stains. And your sink and your toilet is one of them. And we're gonna get straight into that now. So we have the sink. This little white speckles everywhere is just like dust. There's your cups. The taps are quite clean. Here at the side of the sink is where it starts. You see that line there? Some running water lines. The bin is very dirty. The sink base is like any other one. Where they always have that. See that stain there? So if I now rub my finger over it, I thought it would go away, but it hadn't. So that's deep in there now. Yeah, you can see them all under, look at the state of it there. It's a lot of cleaning products and soap, it runs down. What don't get cleaned? I wonder if we could make a difference with that. Yeah, it's just proper in there now, isn't it? Like I said, a few marks everywhere like this. Toilet walls, splashbacks from when not putting the seat down. It's quite standard. Toilet. So, yellow stains is urine, I believe. And if you ask me, they are yellow stains. So that toilet is disgusting. Someone's actually weed all the way down it. I do remember the lady saying, uh, yellow stains, some were coming saying if there's a yellow stain, definitely we. I'm sure she says that. But there's a lot of them around it there. Someone clearly missed a toilet on that occasion. But they haven't cleaned it yet, have they? Same again there, it's not as bad. This side's really bad. Seems where they've sort of like slightly misshot themselves. And there is uh, marks on the floor. So once again, the wall near the toilet, it has a lot of splash back stains from the toilet being flushed. But also it's got these big stains there. I don't know what they could be. So close to the bath. It's on the lino as well in that corner. 
the bath doesn't seem too bad this is going to be the normal stuff maybe a bit of mold coming up yeah there's some there's some there isn't there going to the plug there could just be watermarks what are dried right in once again we can see it let's give it a bit of a rub you can actually feel it coming off so yeah bit of a good clean that would come clean it just shows I don't clean it good enough all around here this is fairly clean there's no going on there a little bit of build up of something here yeah this is all just general cleaning you just need to give it a good clean down like there's one there I think you can wipe it off there we go I see it go this is just general housekeeping we're not keeping control of it really the roof always seems to have some sort of stains and I can tell that with people flicking their air back or some like that. it could just be even condensation you know water build up on the ceiling so we, we always know what there could be but they they strike the fan yeah that's got a lot round going on it as well let's look at this uh, a bit white that one a bit blinding white stuff seem to glow better with these UV lights I know there's some marks there and we're not going to See, yeah, you can see it there, but you see, it's that bright. The camera does actually struggle to get it. Well, yeah, the back of your door is quite standard. Once again, on handle, there's some marks here. Now, we're thinking the carpet would tell us some stories, but the carpet has no to say. The door, the door handle's a bit of a mess. Look at the state of that. Someone clearly could not work out where Ando was. Fingerprints everywhere. That's my phone going off again. Yeah, fingerprints on wall net plug sockets and switches. You always get this. This is just like some of what's around. You can't do what about it. TV switch, yeah. See, it's him again. Now, TV switches, there's always a lot of uh, marks in there. Some of the stains there. I just want to take you over here because these drawers are always really bad. No matter where you go, the drawers always have stains in like they do. A lot of marks, look. You just can't do what about them. It's everywhere I go now with these places and UV lights, all these drawers somewhere people doing stuff always seem to have a lot of stains on them but once again it's just general housekeeping the wall has got a lot of splash marks there now it's a radio what I wanted to show you let's move that back over there Look at this lamp radio, it starts from the top and it just goes all the way down right to the bottom and you can see where it's actually dripped off the bottom there so that is one good, good stain that uh, I'll let you guys be the thoughts about what that could be comment below and let me know same again, there's another one there it's pretty Staying where the radiator is. Side of the bed walls the same. And these cupboards are pretty clean. Yeah, look at this here. See these here? Looks like condensation build up some. I'm not sure, look. I don't know why it's so high up. The ceiling's not bad at all. The ceiling's got some marks. How's that got on the ceiling there? There's another one here. How's that on the ceiling? That's someone's laying in bed and sneezing up. Look, there's another one there. What do they do? Just lay in bed and just choo, get on there. See all around here? It's quite good around here. A bit of a cobweb there, but it seems to be near the bed. 
the ceiling has a lot of these marks on. People must just sneeze up to the ceiling for some strange reason. <laughs> so this mattress may be very springy and probably old, but it seems to have no stains on it at all. The uh, mattress protector, it's got them stains on it earlier, but the light's too bright for that to pick it up on it, it just struggles. So we're just looking at this bed now. Yeah. The mattress is pretty clean. Even bed base, no, the bed base is a bit bad. Look at that there, that's a nice mark on the bed base. Yeah. Oh, the bed base seems to have a lot of marks on it, doesn't it? But thankfully we're not sleeping directly on bed base, are we? Just on the curtain there, there's quite a, a large stain. I thought it were a tea bag mark, but it's it's definitely got some crisp on it like food. That's gotta be something to do with people eating in the room. Being a bit disrespectful maybe. Well, it's good to see the quilt is very clean. That's nice to see. I wonder if they've all been changed recently. Same again with pillars, or pillows. Someone says I don't pronounce that right, it's pillows. Uh, they're very clean, and you can tell they're new. It's got so much spring in them. You know, this bed is so springy. It's unbelievable. Now, noisy as hell. Uh, I go around the hotel room like this showing, and I might say, you know, oh, well, it's housekeeping, but I do understand that housekeepers do not get a long enough time to go around scrubbing the room perfectly every morning when someone leaves. I do get that. And, you know, I don't put it down to housekeepers. I put it down to management for not employing enough housekeepers to allow people to do the rooms properly because there's already a load of... Uh, negative comments on TripAdvisor about this hotel. So I think it is down to the managers, isn't it? They should willing to spend more money, get extra help and hands in, but and then that all goes down to is your hotel making enough money to do that? But for this room, it's really not bad. I had any dust. I don't need to get the marigolds out. There's no dust anywhere. And for me, that is a really good feeling. I don't have to do all that. If I'd find a little bit of dust somewhere, that'd be it. I'd have to do a lot of it. But the UV light, it showed some things up what I was always expecting anyway. The bathroom, the toilet, the sink, the radio. They're always the key areas where there is some sort of stains to be seen. Uh, one or two places, the beds and the carpets have definitely got stories to be told. Um, tomorrow night, I'm in another cheap... Hotel further into Blackpool. And I'll wait until I do that video before I tell you the name of it or exactly how much it was. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a shower and I'm going to get settled down. This room was... Let me double check the price and I'll come back to you. So before I talk about the price of the room, if this is the sort of stuff that you like to see, <clears throat> please do consider hitting that subscribe button, follow my journey on YouTube for a load of different videos like this. I've got about nine videos on the memory cards now, so I can eventually continue uploading them every week without missing a gap, and I don't feel like I've got to go out and do one for that weekend or I'm not going to have one put up. So I do have nice, a nice little backlog of videos now, so there'll always be, and hopefully be, a video every week. So yeah, if this is the sort of stuff you like to see, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. So £27 for the night, it's a double bed, Ensuite, tea and coffee, kettle, 
decent sized TV. Everything's all right, isn't it? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Would you be happy staying in this room? For £27 for night, it's not bad. And TripAdvisor, this is the, one of the worst rated hotels. I don't, I don't have an issue with it so far. So I just got out of the shower and security's knocked on my door saying the alarm's gone off. I didn't hear no alarm in here. Just lift it up a little bit, don't be flashing any body parts. Uh, yeah, and he wouldn't go until I opened the door to him. And I clearly said, look, mate, I'm in my towel. You know, I've got a towel around me, around my waist. Uh, I need to check the rooms, all right? Like it is, I've just got out of the shower. You know, maybe condensation set it off. But he was so persistent, he wouldn't go away until I answered the door to him. There is an alarm there, and the mirror is steamed up. So it could have gone off, I'm not saying it didn't, but just be a little bit more approachable at the door. No one's there now. Yeah, be a bit more approachable. That one, um, um, called for that one. Well, good morning, people. It's only quarter to eight. With my room, there's a bit of an issue, and it woke me up. I'm not saying I'm unhappy about it. I'm not one for sleeping anywhere, but it must be slightly windy outside. Yeah, that net in there is moving around. Because this wall here seems to creak when... I'm sure you can hear it. Obviously, it won't do it on camera when I want it to do. But yeah, this whole wall's creaking because it's windy outside. So it's definitely a stud wall. But you can just see how windy it is, really, from the netting outside. I think some of the hotel workers, they don't have consideration for guests that are staying and maybe still asleep because they're banging around. And yeah, I get they've got a job to do, but. They've got to make sure the guests are happy and still asleep when they want to sleep. There's only a couple of things that I do want to talk about with the room. One is the bed. The bed mattress is like shockingly uncomfortable with them springs. That's one reason why I was a little bit unhappy about the room. The second thing is they couldn't have put no sound block in these walls because imagine getting yourself a, a large shoebox and then putting more shoe boxes round you and everyone's sleeping and talking away. That's what it's like at night time. You could hear them chatting away, anyone coming in that corridor, you heard a lot of it, even when they're whispering you heard it. You heard everything from that direction, that direction. Now, it's not major a complaint because you've got to expect this because it is an hotel and it's an old hotel as well. But I'm just saying, I think about coming to this hotel there doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, noise insulation within the walls. So I do expect a bit of noise. If you want somewhere really quiet, I think you might have to go somewhere else. But for what I paid for the room, it's not too bad. There's another thing that does bug me a little bit. When you stay uh, laying in your bed, I'll just say if you're there like this, I'll turn it around and I'll stop. Like that. You see the lamp? It covered part of the TV. Now that, yeah, that's just me whinging about it. But, you know, other people might not like it as well. You can move the TV, but only one way, facing the window. So the lamp will cover it more. Now, I, I don't think anymore this hotel is probably as bad as people's made it out to be. You can tell they've made improvements. You can tell they're, they're remodernising it all, trying to bring it back up to standards. And I think in time, they definitely will do that. In one way, I wish I would have come to this hotel before they started modernising it, to see what it was like then compared to now. Yeah, I've seen videos on YouTube, so they definitely are putting some money back into the 
to your to the hotel. If you want to make this room a little bit better, I'd do away with these curtains. These curtains are like seriously not matching anything. I'd do away with them. That's the only thing what does ruin this room when you walk in. The mirror, like I said last night, it's like some off of an, uh, a dressing table, but a mirror's a mirror. I'm not going to whinge about that too much. You don't see it when you're in bed. It's just some curtains. I think the clergy just probably picked a better uh, set of colours. Let's turn this TV socket off. See fresh air in the morning. <laughs> there we have it, people. The Norbrook Castle, or Norbrek Castle. Absolute beast of the place. So back in the car now what do i really think about this hotel i think it's fine the meal cost me 12 pound 50 last night i don't think that was too bad either really i think they dropped the prices to what i've seen on other people's youtube channels uh i'd definitely go back again to uh emma with me my partner i can't see how it's the worst rated hotel anymore these uh people comment about it must be lifting it up a little bit yeah i talked about the mattress mattress is really uncomfortable if i go back and there's another mattress like that i just basically ask could i be changed rooms or is another mattress available but for the price i really can't complain can i so i'm going to leave a thing here if you want to subscribe to my youtube channel you're more than welcome i'll leave another video up there for you to check that out i think i'll put the scarborough one up there maybe one from scarborough but yeah, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll see you next time.